Hello, welcome back to Toadstool Tarot. This is Robin here, and I am attempting for the fourth time to shoot this video. I have been having so much trouble with my iPhone camera. I don't know what the issue is. I probably need to go to the Apple Store and figure it out. It's doing false starts. I get anywhere from a minute to five minutes into the video and it shuts itself off. Or if it does take a video, it frames it fidgety and keeps shifting around or doesn't fully focus properly. I don't know what's going on, but we'll give this another try. Hopefully fourth time is the charm. I had a birthday earlier this week and treated myself to several items, one of them being this wooden rattle, uh, handmade in the Ukraine that I got on Etsy. Now, as opposed to the typical rattle, like so, I actually got these on Amazon in bulk, little Mexican wooden rattles with uh, filled with seeds or beads. This one's not very loud. Um, and these were painted and I filed the paint off because I just like the plain wood look. But anyway, this style is called, this is a sistrum and these are, um, originate in Egypt, I believe, which are basically a loop with horizontal bar or bars that have spangles or bangles on them that shift left and right when shaken. And um, it's a very specific style of rattle. And um, I like these very much. I collect rattles for my uh, shamanic uh, journey work and ritual. And uh, this was a baby rattle. It's pretty large actually for a baby rattle, but um, it's really nicely made. It's softly polished and feels really good has nice act excuse me nice action to it so that was my first gift to myself second was this tarot case holder that claims to be leather i'm not sure if it's leather or if it's vinyl posing as leather it's uh got a magnetic enclosure which i love and a tarot universe friend told me about these, although he recommended a different brand. But that other brand didn't have the right size or the color that I liked. And I found these on Amazon. This one has a spiral energy sun embossed on it and some fleur de lis and other elements, design elements around the outside. I think these are made by a company called Luck Lab. And I think it went for about 20 bucks. I really like it. I may end up ordering more. Like I said, it's got a magnetic enclosure with a purple, vel purple velveteen liner. It's currently housing my favorite RWS deck and is perfect size for an RWS deck, I believe, and the box if you want to put the tuck box in there too you can see there's a little extra space however if you have thicker card decks they will not fit in here and i will show you that in a second because my third item gifted to myself was this handmade deck on etsy um and this is called the Diamond Flare Tarot. Um, similarly to the Carol Herzer decks, these I, were printed and then I believe hand laminated. And I expected that was the case when I saw the images online and the price, because I think the decks were only about $15 a piece. I was surprised actually that this even came in a tuck box as opposed to just shrink wrap or wrapped in paper or something. The tuck box isn't great. It's printed, you know, and folded and glued. The glue is already sort of starting to come apart on mine. 
um, in the corner here. Oop, sorry. Um, it came with a little white book, which I was surprised that included that. Standard little white book with the essay and information from Arthur Waite's Key to the Tarot. These are the backs. The cardstock is really flexible. I don't think it's particularly heavy paper. I think it's the lamination on both sides. It gives it a little more sturdiness. Um, but I mean, it's, it's not real thick. It's workable. Um, I was wondering whether the person that designed these had seen Conrad Stain's decks because the effect is similar in a way. Oh, these are the back, this is the back design. And that they took images from, um, Pamela Coleman Smith's artwork, black and white, and then put a background filter uh, on a layer behind. And in this case, it seems to be a sort of a out of focus um, image of sequins or rhinestones to give it a sort of a dazzling effect. Uh, sorry, these are not in order. They were in order when I did the previous video, but it didn't come out sharp enough, and I redid it. I'm redoing this, and I'm not reordering the deck after shuffling, but you're probably familiar with all these images, so just flip through some of these quickly, and you can see the basic dazzling effect that these have. They're actually pretty nice considering they're, you know, handmade. The, uh, the black is nice and sharp on these. And, uh, the focus here, of course, being Pixie's line art with a little razzle-dazzle in the background. And they didn't move the filter around, but that's okay. I kind of like the effect. And God knows how many RWS decks I have now, or how many versions of Pixie's art. But this will add to the collection. Each one has different coloring or different texturing to it that uh, makes the images seem fresh each time I look at them, view them in a different way. These cards feel pretty good. Um, I do find that they clump a bit, so I think they will ripple shuffle very well, which I don't do. Overhand shuffling is not as good, but uh, maybe if I pick up some dusting powder, that will help. It's been recommended to me. Or maybe I'll just get used to them over time. like I managed to uh, get these pretty well mixed in my overhand shuffling. So, that's the Diamond Flare Tarot. Let's see. And I'll put the links in the description for you. So thanks for stopping by and sharing my recent treasures with me.
I will see you all again soon. Take care.